Yo, what is going on guys? Winter Kills here and welcome to a brand new Locals feature match. Here we are in round one for March 25th's Locals and here we have Melfi Sprite, I believe, on the left versus good old Tenny Sword Soul on the right. So we're going to see Sword Soul start things off here with Moe Reveal Ashina, get token, then activate Longyun, discard Ashina, get another token. So they do have the uh, the play around Nibiru technique available. So they're going to go ahead and synchro for Baron right away as the fifth summon because you got to respect Nibiru when you can playing Sword Soul. So go for Baron, Long Yun effect, burn 12, and then they're going to go ahead and synchro with the Mo Yi. Or perhaps first we're going to go ahead and use Ashina to bring out Adhara. Why not give ourselves a little bit of follow up and free blackout fodder in the form of a monk? So yeah, they're going to go for Chi Zhao. Chain link one, Chi Zhao, chain link two, Mo Yi. And they're going to Ash. Uh, unless they did, yeah, they did it the other way around. They went chain link two, Chi Zhao, chain link one, Mo Yi. Very interesting how people are doing it nowadays. And it's going to get Ashed. Um, I don't think there was a reason not to chain block there, but either way, they're just going to go ahead and get their random draw set to pass with Baron Chi Zhao. Not so bad. And we're going to see Sprite here lead with Prosperity. Probably going to go ahead and banish... Well, they're going to go for just three here, revealing Jet Imperm and Nimble Beaver. Reminder to subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already. So we get to 30,000 subscribers. And they're going to take, I think that was Beaver there. Fire off an Imperm on the Baron. And it looks like they also have Starter, another Prosperity in hand. Not the most stellar opening. But the Beaver will go ahead and resolve here. Bringing out a copy of Angler. And uh, speaking of hitting milestones, if you guys aren't already aware, there is a donation button alongside this video and alongside some of the past videos I've uploaded over the past couple weeks as I am doing a fundraiser for Clean Air Task Force alongside the duration of our current One Deck One Month series for Photon Galaxy. And uh, we do have a goal of $1,000 to reach. Incentives along the way. I'll leave a link to the original video that details those incentives. So... Please consider donating to this great nonprofit for a good cause if you haven't already. And if you cannot donate, please consider sharing the video as well. So, looks like we are going to see him link into Sprine. Sprine's going to get hit with Imperm. Then we're going to see him follow up with the Sprite Starter to go ahead and bring out a copy of that Alti Blue. Very, very easy to tell when the Altis are out. It's got that nice little... Um, spiraling swirl effect in the background very nice looking we're gonna see him special summon jet though and then on the effect of jet to search for a sprite spell or trap that is going to be negated by the long yun or not long yun sorry by the chi zhao banishing long yun probably importantly banishing long yun as you can get it back very easily the following turn using adhara some combination of adhara and ashina and then we're gonna see him overlay now the sprined and the uh, blue, rather, into Gigantic. And it does have its attack doubled now since it was summoned using a Link Monster, so it'll allow them to easily get over Baron for just 200. Well, 100 technically, since they are under the Prosperity Half Damage Clause. But getting rid of that Baron is really, really strong. Main Phase 2, they're going to go ahead and activate Gigantic now. And uh, the only thing they're not safe from really here is Blackout lingering in the back line. But I feel like if you were going to Blackout, you probably would have already done it. And uh, that's going to go ahead and bring out Soul Scissors. And they're going to link into Nightmare Cerberus. And they're going to use Cerberus, discarding that extra pot of Prosperity. Clearing the Chi Zhao and setting that extra starter and that extra set card ended up being a Cosmic Cyclone. So denying some form of follow-up there for our Sprite player. And they're going to go ahead and pass turn with just Monk on board, which is good for them, honestly, because they could have done a Tenyu play there, but they're just going to go ahead and normal summon Moe first. So I say they could have just specced Ashina first. Or well, used Ashina from hand, summon out Hara, link into a second Monk, and Hara add back Long Yun. Then normal summon Moe reveal Long Yun. I feel like that would probably been maybe a little bit more beneficial. I don't know. It's been a while since I played Sword Soul, though. But they're going to go into Berserker of the Tenyu here. 
And now they're going to go ahead and use Asha in hand. So I guess doing it in this order doesn't... I guess it doesn't make too big of a difference. So now they're going to bring out Atara. And then Atara effect after getting linked into Monk to add back Long Yun. And this should probably just be enough to go for a game here, I would imagine. Long Yun discard an extra Moe. Bring out Token. Synchro. And yeah, they see the uh, writing on the wall there and they're going to admit defeat. So we will see Sword Soul up 1-0 here over the Melfi Sprite deck. We're going to see Sprite go first here in game two. Also, reminder guys, check out Imperium Duelist if you have not. I do have a discount code to their site or for their site down in the description of all my videos. Winner kills 10 off. Anytime you guys shop and check out using that link, a small bit of the revenue from your purchase will go right back into the channel and helps out a ton. So we're going to see starter into blue, into carrot, into jet, swarming the field with all these uh, level twos. And Jet's going to go ahead and add Double Cross. Now they're going to go ahead and overlay, well, Link, rather. And it is Melfi Sprite. You can see they do have Melfi of the Forest in the extra alongside the new Melfi Synchro. So I wasn't lying. It is Melfi Sprite. I actually played against this deck for the first time on my stream the other day. It was actually um very interesting. So many layers of disruption with that build, but I imagine it probably adds quite a bit of brick hands to the deck although i mean any of those engine pieces or combo pieces for the melfi engine are just level two bodies that allow you to play with the sprite cards i guess at the end of the day worse comes to worse so sprine is going to go ahead and dump angler angler effect is going to get met with ash and then to follow that up they're going to overlay the angler and the sprine into gigantic gigantic effect and they have not, well, they've already used both blue and jet here. So I wouldn't be surprised. They just summon out, yeah, another non sprite level two. It's going to be soul scissors, which I will actually pull up soul scissors real quick because I remember I had this card dropped on me a while back for the first time when I was playing Rika uh, against the same sprite player, actually. They're going to go for Melfi of the Forest here, too. Uh, Soul Searcher says, if a monster on the field is destroyed by a battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, while well, this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card, but banish when it leaves the field. If this card is special summoned from the graveyard, you can target one monster your opponent controls to destroy it. Uh, and then let's also pull up Melfi of the Forest. Uh, this card says, you can detach material from this card, add a Melfi card from your deck to your hand. And if, an, if another face-up Melfi monster you control returns to your hand except during the damage type you can target one face up monster your opponent controls it cannot attack also its effects are negated while it is face up on the field and i believe the melfi monster they added just summons itself during the end phase so they have that on field ready to bounce back to pair with their uh, xyz for an interruption cosmic is going to force out the double cross and then we're going to see him follow that up with a Pot of Desires, Banishing 10. It will resolve here. That's a draw two moment. No Ash Blossom. They have Tenny Spirit something. They have, or aka Shathana. They've also got Heavenly Dragon Circle, Called by the Grave. One of the spell card might be Triple Tactics Sound, but a very spell heavy hand. They're going to go ahead and special summon the Shathana, link it into Monk. They do have Circle though, so that could bridge them here into a potential play. I think that might be Melfi Caddy. Yeah, Melfi Caddy. So if your opponent normal special summons a monster during the damage step, uh, except during the damage step, or an opponent's monster targets this card for attack, you can turn this card to the hand, then you can add a beast monster from your deck to your hand except itself. So they're going to go ahead and get to add a beast. And I'm not sure which one they added. I had to look away there while they added that. But they do have talents. So yeah, I thought I saw talents. And the talents could go in here potentially rip out the monster that uh, they just surged. They've also got Gamma in hand. So now they're going to go ahead and use that Heavenly Dragon Circle, tributing off the Monk. And I know if it's a non-effect monster, you get to special summon the card. But it looks like they are just going to go ahead and add that Taya. It looks like the other monster they have in hand is Bell. I thought it was Moe. If it was Moe, they were definitely in there, but it's just a Bell. So they have called by Taya Bell and one other card. Oh yeah, it's the talents, so which they've yet to use. So now they're going to go ahead and normal summon Taya, and there's a Lancia. And yeah, the call by the grave. Ironically, banishing Lancia from the grave. 
We'll allow the Taya to go through, banishing the Monk. To go ahead and get a token. Nice little Long Yun token there. Still no official Sword Soul token, by the way. Absolutely none. But I think there's a new Melfi monster that came out. It might be Wally and Penny. I remember those two specifically being the ones that were used when I was playing the ladder match. Yeah, so Penny. Yeah, it was Penny there. Penny and Caddy going to go for the Synchro, which is Mary Melfi's. If this card is special, you can target a face-up monster in the field, return to the hand. If your opponent normal or special is a monster, or if an opponent's monster targets the card from attack, you can return this card to the extra deck. Then you can special summon one Melfi Exceeds monster from your extra deck. And they can also go for Herald of the Arclight 2, which is obviously kind of like a pseudo macro, and also an Omni Negate. So they're going to be able to bounce back the tie at a hand. And now, once they're completely out of options here, they're going to go ahead and use Talents to take the Mary Melfi's, which is a level 4, so they can use that to Synchro with that token. And looks like they are going to go into Draco Berserker of the Tenny, as this will help clear out the entire field. Yep, so it'll run over the Melfi of the four, so it'll gain 500 attack, allowing it to get over that 3200 gigantic sprite. And uh, Berserker of the Tenny could kind of go in here against sprite cards, you know. Um, normal summon a level 2, special summon a, a red, banish it, and then they're pretty much without a play there. They just need another extender, but they just have Gamma and Lancey in hand, which is not looking too hot for them. And uh, it looks like they are just going to pass turn. There's literally nothing they can do except for hope that they play into a Gamma. And maybe it buys them a little bit more time. So they're going to normal summon Taya, activate Taya effect, and... Now, they do have Bell in hand. They could technically Bell the Gamma. They also have Ash in hand, too. Um, yeah, and they're just... Yeah, I think they're just going to go ahead and admit defeat there. Yeah. Yeah, and top decking Ash the next turn. So, yeah, that is going to do it. So, yeah, just admitting defeat there. Not much they can do. So, we're going to see Swords will take it 2-0 over Melfi Sprite. Hope you guys enjoyed. Last but not least, a huge shout-out goes to our current Divine Level channel members who are Misfit, H8 Cyber, Cadillacs84, and Pony Stark. Thank you guys so much, as always, for showing me kind and very generous support of my channel.